And now, the general weather around Alaska. Okay, first up, we've got uh, hazardous weather graphic. Uh, we still have a coastal or high surf advisory out for the uh, Yukon Delta Coast, St. Lawrence Island, and the Bering Strait Coast until 10 p.m. this evening uh, for possible minor beach erosion and the caused by the higher surf due to the gusty winds that are continuing but slowly coming down. Otherwise, uh, looking at the fire danger graphic here, we'll see the forecast for tomorrow losing the extreme over the uh, Tanana Valley area and north of the Alaska Range. Still quite an area of very high fire danger though for spruce there. Northward into the Koyukuk Valley, Upper Yukon Valley with uh, still an area of extreme fire danger here over the Yukon Flats and pretty high fire danger up along the north slope as well. In some cases right on out to the Arctic coast there in the high category. And the Copper River Basin, high fire danger. Everywhere else not looking too bad. For satellite imagery, starting, there we go. Moisture flowing into clouds coming northward here. Not much in the way of any precipitation. Could be a few isolated showers in this. Uh, moisture came through with some rain uh, earlier today into uh, south central Alaska, along the North Gulf Coast, up to an inch falling in Cordova today, and a uh, little bit of uh, moisture along the southeast coast as well with some showers uh, due to, back it up here, due to this trough uh, brought uh, about a third of an inch of precipitation to Sitka today and about four hundredths to Yakutat, but heavier here along the North Gulf Coast with some rain extending down into uh, Southern Cook Inlet, Homer Soldovia had some rain and uh, also Kodiak Island with this system here. Front weakening though, uh, cloudy skies, areas of rain and temperatures cooler than they were over the Eastern interior, rising into the mid eighties once again here over the east side on up into the Yukon Flats, North Slope, another uh, very warm day up there with seventies, sixties to lower seventies, some cases lower eighties showing up again. And this slow keeps uh, gusty winds going anywhere from uh, gust 30 to 40 miles an hour today from Nome on out towards St. Lawrence Island. Winds diminishing though down along the Yukon Delta Coast, Nunavak Island with uh, another band of uh, rain kind of edging its way eastward onto the coast there and then extending northward to St. Lawrence Island. Much drier with a lot less wind over the Aleutians and Southern Bering Sea today for tonight. This front uh, hangs up right along the coast there, not really making any eastward progress uh, with the low center staying back to the west. That's uh, one reason though. Uh, westerly flow here carrying a couple of troughs with a little bit of moisture in the form of light rain, fog or drizzle or just scattered showers here into the Pribilof Islands covering much of the Bering Sea actually. Much of the Bering Sea forecast to be IFR the next couple of days. And in that uh, another trough here mostly to the south of the area. Otherwise, uh, Clouds, smoke continuing over the interior, Tanah Valley area northward up to the uh, Brooks Range actually, that area of smoke drifting northward there in the uh, southerly flow. And a uh, little bit of uh, shower activity possible tonight here, even into the eastern interior. Thunderstorms possible over the Brooks Range, west side as well. And pretty showery and cloudy here for southern Alaska, especially southern Kenai Peninsula, Western Prince William Sound, but a good chance of showers all along the North Gulf Coast. And a little bit drier tonight over the Panhandle, watching this next system uh, gathering strength a little bit and taking off to the east. Not too strong, but it'll increase the winds on the south coast of the Panhandle tomorrow, actually all along the coast during the day with uh, rain pushing back in to the south and trying to push northward. A lot of showers here across southern Alaska for the day on Monday, some of that even developing over north of the Alaska Ranger in the Tanana Valley. Could see shower activity in that area that'll extend back to the uh, Western Brooks Range. And this weak trough, remnants of that front, keeps it cloudy and unsettled here over the western interior. Low continues to weaken there south, southwest of uh, St. Lawrence Island. Winds uh, much lighter now than they have been. And uh, couple of troughs again, low clouds, fog, drizzle into these mainly central Aleutian areas. And then the outlook for Tuesday, back to dry conditions, may see a fair amount of clearing here over the uh, Aleutians from Adak all the way out to Shimia. Could see some sunshine. Chance of showers though, with mostly cloudy skies around Alaska. Should be dry for the Pribilof, so there'll be low clouds and fog covering a good portion of the Bering Sea. That low uh, 
still not moving much and continues to slowly weaken. Kind of a new front develops or another band of moisture associated with it, uh, pushing more rain and showers into mainly Bristol Bay and the Cusquam Delta to a lesser extent over the Yukon Delta. Showers here over the northern interior and uh, more in the way of clouds and showers and thunderstorms over the eastern interior down into the Copper River Basin. Partly mo or mostly cloudy skies, showery conditions here for the uh, south central Alaska area, mostly over the mountainous terrain now, and uh, looks pretty damp. Another system approaching the southeast coast, so kind of uh, cloudy, showery conditions for the next couple of days there. And for lows tonight, mid to upper 50s for the Panhandle, 50s everywhere else near 60 in the Fairbanks area, and mostly in the 50s for the Arctic coast, cooler upper 40s here over the Bering Sea and the Aleutians, followed by highs, mid to upper 50s out here over the Bering Sea, near 50 for St. Lawrence Island, Savunga and Gamble, warming into the uh, lower to mid 80s again tomorrow for the Yukon Flats, the warmest area up here. Another warm day coming up for the North Slope, definitely into the 70s, maybe another 80 or so degree temperature showing up there, especially on the east side, and then uh, near 80 for Northway and Toke, and maybe 81 for, let's see, that's, uh, Fairbanks, 75 for Tanana, 65 to 70 South Central Alaska, about the same for the Panhandle, upper 50s, lower 60s for Bristol Bay. Lows again in the 50s everywhere except upper 40s over the Bering Sea, followed by highs on Tuesday. A little bit cooler, but still 80 to 85 from Eagle on up to Chuck Yitzik and Fort Yukon Beaver areas. 70s now for the Tanana Valley and the mostly 60s south of the Alaska Range, 50s over the southwest interior, and uh, into the 60s for the Panhandle.